Hello everyone and welcome back to PhD and Productivity. If you're new here, you are more than welcome. On this channel we do all things PhD related, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I do in a day as a PhD student. Again, if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded. So firstly, I like to wake up pretty early in general and I do this thanks to my natural wake up light, which makes sure that my room is nice and bright by the time that I wake up, which is really helpful in this winter morning. So that helps me up. And then I like to drink a large glass of water to get my body moving for the morning and make sure that I am staying nice and hydrated for the day. And then I go into the bathroom and wash my face just with plain water. I don't use any products on my face. Um, controversial, but anyways, so I do that and then I just brush my teeth as well. And then I change into my gym outfit for the day, which I have laid out so that I don't have to make any decisions first thing. And it's just a pretty simple outfit today. And then before I leave, I like to make my bed. I don't make it too perfectly, it's more so that when I come home it's nice to have a nice freshly made bed. So it's just made nice and quickly, not perfectly because it's time to get out of here. So I like to be out of my house within a couple minutes of waking up because then it's time to go to the gym. My gym is about a 45 minute walk from my house which I don't mind because then it's pretty near to university after that. Um, it does tend to be pretty cold in the mornings these days, so I have to wrap up nice and warm for heading outside. Um, the walk tends to go by pretty quickly, especially because I like to use the morning as sort of a self-development time. So this is the time that I like to listen to a non-fiction audiobook. So I think during this time I was listening to The Power of Moments by Chip and Dan Heath, which I really enjoyed. So I try to go to the gym every morning to just get my body moving and making sure that I'm active every day. My plan at the moment is starting off with a warm up on the treadmill of about 5-10 to 10 minutes of walking or running and then getting into the weight section to do a full body routine. And then after about 40 minutes of weights, I go on to do my cardio, which is either the elliptical or some sort of class. So today I just did a spin class. And then after that, I head back to the changing rooms to get ready. And usually I just wear something pretty simple to work. And as well, I go for quite a simple makeup look. I literally just put on concealer and fill on my eyebrows. And then I head to university. So at this point it's nice and bright outside and I think it's quite good to get outside during the day even if it's a foggy day like this but just to make sure that you're getting outside every day. I do think it's good like for your mental health but also to be getting in some vitamins from natural light and stuff like that as well. So I have quite a nice walk into university and then it is time to get some breakfast. So usually I have breakfast on campus because right now I don't have a kitchen so this is what I had today. And it's pretty cheap which is handy and then I just head up to my office which is a pretty nice place to work and then it is pretty much time to start working so the first thing that I do when I get into work is I check out my a4 research diary to check what I need to do for the week so this is the weekly spread that I'm currently using um, I've shown it in my February setup for how I use my bullet journal but I will have an upcoming video, my March setup, um, coming up next week. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe so that you can see how I'm setting up my March plan with me because it's going to be a bit different. So this is kind of like my weekly time blocking of events. 
I mentioned in my most recent video or my video before about deep work and how I use it on a daily basis. So if you want to learn about deep work, be sure to check that video out. But basically it means that these blocks that are have marks on them, these are going to be like an hour and a half or two hours of focused um, concentration on a specific task. So that means no phones, no distractions, just working on a particular task. So I sort of block out those times at the beginning of the week and then on a given day I'll check out my task list for the week and then work out what I need to do based on that. So you can see for Thursday for instance I have, um, I need to do testing for the diligent runners in my data set and do a final version of the gra graphs that I was working on and clean up my code as well. So that's basically what I scheduled in for these tasks and then that's how I'm going to be doing my deep work for the morning. I also have a meeting with my supervisor so that's going to be happening as well and then I have some demonstration in the afternoon and some work to do on an assignment. So that's basically the tasks that I'm going to be doing for this given day. So basically spending the morning working on programming and having a meeting with my supervisor and then doing my demonstration hours in the afternoon and working on an assignment. Just to mention over here, this is sort of how I track my productivity. So this is Pomodoro blocking. So I usually have three or four Pomodoro blocks for a deep work block. Um, so basically this is like 25 minutes on, five minutes off. So it's like a four step doodle where I have the stem of the tree and then the three layers. So each one of those represents a 25 minute of like hardcore work and then a five minute break. And I try to stay away from my phone during the five minute break as well, just because I feel like it distracts you from the overall task you're working on. So instead I just try to maybe go and get a cup of tea or some water or just go stretch or something like that instead of, you know, distracting myself fully from my tasks. It's just like a little mental break for a couple minutes. And then in here is where I track any kind of small wins for the week just so I can stay motivated as well. Again, as I mentioned, you can see this in my February plan with me and you will see it in my upcoming March plan with me as well. So one thing I've started doing at the beginning of every deep work session is doing a Sudoku puzzle to get my brain in a focused mood. So the book mentions doing some sort of focused task every day, such as memorizing a deck of cards. I've been finding that doing a Sudoku puzzle um, every day and trying to improve my time, like really concentrating on it, has really been helping me. So I do that every day before I start working. And then guys, that is my work day over, so I'm free to enjoy the evening whatever way I like. Again, I try to get out of work before it is too dark so I can enjoy some sunlight for the day. So on this day, I was hanging out with some friends, so I met them for dinner, and it was really nice, especially when it's midweek. So guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. And as I said, there will be some upcoming videos where I'm doing my planning for the next month in my A4 bullet journal and future videos all about my PhD and how I'm getting on with things and different like productivity tips and stuff like that as well. 
So if you want to see those, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos are uploaded. And I will see you in the next video.